Good morning everyone. Welcome back to grade 5 mathematics class. How are you all doing today? Did you finish all the activities we mentioned in the previous class? So we have come to the end of chapter 2. So we will have a re revision session today. All of you please turn to page number 34 in your textbook. You can see the heading revision station there. We will discuss the questions given in that page today. We will discuss all the questions first then later you can do work out all the questions in your notebook later once we finish the discussion. So let's move on to the first question. Solve the following and you have a set of six questions there. Question 1. It's an addition. 4,85,916 plus 25,432. So these are the add-ins here. We are, we are asked to find out the sum of this addition problem. So let's do the calculation now. For question A, let's start adding the ones. Here it is 8. 3 plus 1 it is 4. 9 plus 4 is 13. A carry over 1. 5 plus 5 10 plus 1 11 a carry over 1 8 plus 2 10 plus 1 11 carry over 1 and here you have 5. So the sum here is 5,11,348. Now question B is a subtraction problem. You have the minuend and the subtrahend. Let's do the subtraction now. So 8 minus 8, 8 ones minus 8 ones equals 0. Now you cannot do 2 minus 7. So you borrow 100 from the 700 and give to the tens place. So now in the tens place you have the 1 sorry 10 tens from the 100 you borrowed. So that 10 tens plus this 2 is 10 plus 2 12 tens here. Then 12 minus 7 it is 5. Now in the hundreds place since we gave 100 to the tens place Instead of 7, we have 7 minus 1, 6 or 7, 100 minus 100, 6 hundreds in the hundreds place. Now 6 minus 2, it is 4 here. Now again, in the thousands place, you have 1 minus 9. We have to borrow making this 8 and making this one 11 thousands. Now 11 minus 2, it is, sorry, 11 minus 9, it is 2. Now 8 minus 5, it is 3. 8 minus 4, this 4. Now bringing down this 7. So that gives you the difference of 74,32,450. Now let's move on to question C. This is also an addition. Sorry, subtraction. Let's do the subtraction. We cannot do 7 minus 8. So we borrow making this 17 once. So 17 minus 8, it is 9. 8 minus 8, it is 0. 8 minus 1, it is 7, sorry 7. Now 2 minus 9, we cannot do, we borrow making this 6 and this one 12. So 12 minus 9, it is 3, 6 minus 5, it is 1, 5 minus 4, again 1 and bringing this 3 down. So here, what is the difference? It is 31,13,709. Now question D, here we have 3 add-ins, let's do the addition, 7 plus 7, 14 plus 1, 15, carry over 1, 0 plus 5, 5, plus 2, 7, plus 1, 8, 4 plus 2, 6, plus 8, 14, carry over 1, 1 plus 7, 8, plus 9, 17, plus 1, 18, carry over 1, 2 plus 9, 11, plus 5, 16, plus 1, 17, a carry over 1, 7 plus 5, 12, plus 7, 19, plus 1, 20, a carry over 2, 8 plus 3, 11 plus 2, 13. Let's insert commas in between. So that gives you 1 crore, 30 lakhs, 78,485 as the sum. Now question E, it's a combination of addition and subtraction here. So we have learned that when addition and subtraction come in the same question, which operation we do first? We always do the addition part first, then subtract the third number from the sum. So let's do the addition part first. So these are the add-ins in this one. Let's add those two numbers. So 9 plus 2, it is 11, carry over 1. 
3 plus 1 4 plus 1 is 5 5 plus 4 it is 9 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 4 it is 10 carry over 1 8 plus 1 it is 9 then bringing this 7 down to give you the sum 79 lakh 6951 now what is left we have a third number which is the subtrahend let's do the subtraction now so 1 minus 2 we cannot do so we borrow so this is 11 once 11 minus 2 9 4 minus 7 again we have to borrow making this 8 and this one 14 so 14 minus 7 7 8 minus 5 it is 3 now 6 minus 1 5 0 minus 3 we cannot do so we borrow making this 8 and making this one 10 so 10 minus 3 it is 7 now 8 minus 8 0 7 minus 2 it is 5 so what is the solution for this one it is 50 lakh 75379 now question f this is also a combination here we have three addons and one subtrahend so let's do the addition part first we have arranged the numbers in proper columns so that the ones come in the same column tens come in the same column hundreds come in the same column and so on so let's start with the ones 2 plus 8 10 plus 2 12 carry over 1 1 plus 2 3 plus 5 8 plus 1 9 3 plus 9 12 plus 3 is 15 a carry over 1 5 plus 1 6 plus 1 7 7 plus 4 it's 11 a carry over 1 3 plus 1 it is 4 so that gives you the sum of 4 lakh 17 thousand 592 now we have a subtrahend here let's subtract this number from this sum 2 minus 2 0 9 minus 7 2 5 minus 5 0 7 minus 2 5 1 minus 9 we cannot do we borrow so this becomes 11 11 minus 9 this 2 3 minus 2 this 1 so what is the final result it is 1 lakh 25020 now that was question 1 let's do question 2 now here also let's solve the following here here six questions there let's start with a 312 into 4571 so it's a three digit number and a four digit number for the ease of multiplication i have written the four digit number first and let's do the multiplication now so it's we have to multiply the place values of each of the digits in the multiplier with the multiplicand so let's do that now 2 1 2 1s are 2 2 into 7 it's 14 carry over 1 2 into 5 10 plus 1 11 carry over 1 4 into 2 8 plus 1 9 so that is 2 1s into the multiplicand now let's do 1 10 into the multiplicand so where do we start writing the product we have to write the product beginning from the tens place to the left now one tens we are actually multiplying one tens the place value let's uh, insert the zeros at the end so one into one it is one itself one seven five and four here now let's multiply the place value of three with the multiplicand that is three hundred so three into one is three three into seven it is twenty one a carry over two here 3 into 5 15 plus 2 it is 17 a carry over 1 3 into 4 12 plus 1 it is 13 now let's insert in the zeros to make up for the places and also to uh, correct the columns here we have multiplied with 2 sorry 1 10 so there is 1 0 in the product here we have multiplied with 300 so it's a hundreds digit sorry multiple of 100 so we have two zeros in the product let's add up all the products so that is 2 4 plus 1 5 7 plus 3 10 plus 1 11 carry over 1 
1 plus 5 6 plus 9 15 plus 1 it is 16 carry over 1 7 plus 4 it is 11 plus 1 12 carry over 1 3 plus 1 4 and bringing the 1 down so that equals to a product of 14 lakh 26,152. Let's move on to question B. It's a division. So here we have the dividend and this is the divisor. Now we are dividing with a three digit number. So let's look at the first three digits of the dividend. So there we have 894. How many 132s will go in? 894. Let's see. Let's see if 5 132s go in there. It's 10. Carry over 1. 16. Carry over 1. 5 into 1. 5 plus 1. 6. So one more 132 will go into that. So let's check if 6 132 will fit in 894. So 132 into 6 is 12. Carry over 1. 19 carry over 1 7 okay now one more no so let's take 6 6 times 132 is 792 now let's subtract these two numbers so 4 minus 2 2 9 minus 9 is 0 so 8 minus 7 it is 1 now what's the next step we have to bring down the next digit so let's bring down this 3 here. So that will give you 1023. Now we have to divide this 1023 with 132. So 132 into 10 times will be 1320. So 10 130s will definitely won't go in 1023. Now we already know. 6 132s are 792. So let's try with 7 132s. So 132 into 7, 14, carry over 1, 22, carry over 2, 7 ones are 7 plus 2, 9. Okay. So 7 132s will fit in 1023. So 7 into 132 is 924. Now let's subtract. So this is 1, this is 13, here it is 9. Now here you have 1 minus 2. So you borrow from here. So here you have 11. So 11 minus 2, it is 9. Here 9 minus 9, 0, again 0. So we cannot divide 99 by 132. And there are no more digits to bring down. So this is the remainder and this is the quotient of this division. The quotient equal to 67 and the remainder equal to 99. So that was question B. Now let's do question C. It's 79,135 divided by 10. Now we know 10 7s are 70. Let's bring down the next digit. So 10 9s are 90. 1 here. Now again 1 tens are 10, let's subtract 35, 10 threes are 30, it gives you 5, any more digits to bring down, no and we cannot divide 5 by 10. So this is the quotient 7913 and the remainder is 5. Now question D, it's also a multiplication problem, a 4 digit number by 3 digit number. So let's start with the ones. So here any number into 0 equals 0. So the first product are all zeros. Now the tens digit 9 into 1, 9, 9 into 2, 18, carry over 1, 9 into 9, 81 plus 1, it is 82, carry over 8, 9 into 5, 45 plus 8, it is 53. Now 2 into 1 is 2, 2 2's are 4, 2 9's are 18, carry over 1, 2 into 5 10 plus 1 it is 11. Now that we have written the 3 products, let's add up all the products. 
here 0 9 8 plus 2 is 10 carry over 1 4 plus 2 6 plus 1 it is 7 8 plus 3 it is 11 carry over 1 1 plus 5 6 plus 1 7 now bringing this 1 down so that gives you the product 17 lakh 17,090 now question E now let's see question E 1002 into 405 so we had learned a shortcut method for multiplying bigger numbers with that method I'm choosing this 1002 and rethinking this 1002 as 1000 plus 2 and then let's do the multiplication easily we know 4000 sorry 405 into 1000 is equal to okay now we have to find out only what is 405 into 2 so 405 into 2 is 2 into 5 it is 10 I carry over 1 here 2 into 0 0 plus 1 1 2 into 4 8 now what you have to do you have to add up this number and this number so let's add up those two numbers so that gives you the final product 4 lakh 5810 now let's move on to question F here you have 7005 divided by 204 so here you have 204 and the first three digits is 700 we know 200 into 3 is 600 so 204 into 3 let's check 12 carry over 1 3 into 0 0 plus 1 is 1 3 into 2 is 6 so 3 200 force will definitely go in 700 so let's take 3 here now 3 into 204 that is 612 now let's subtract the numbers so here 10 minus 2 it's 8 9 minus 1 again 8 now 6 minus 6 it is 0 now bringing the next digit down you have 885 so now let's see how we can divide 885 by 204 how many 200 fours will go in 885 since 2 into 4 gives you 8 in the hundreds place let's check if 200 into 4 will be a correct option here so 4 into 4 16 carry over 1 it's 1 4 into 2 18 okay so I'm taking 4 here so product is 816 now let's subtract so this is 15 okay here it is next now there are no more digits to bring down and we cannot divide 69 by 204 so the quotient here is 34 and the remainder here is 69 that was question 2